Okay, I want to start by going doing an overview of the four main regions of the brain, each of which we'll talk about more in detail um, in a future video. Um, so the first one is the cerebrum. This is the largest part of the brain. So number one up here, cerebrum is everything kind of above here. Um, the largest part of the cerebrum is the cerebral cortex. Cortex refers to the outside. The, the cortex is the outside. Um, that's where all of these fissures, gyri, and sulci are, so ridges and grooves that increase the surface area of the brain. Um, so not only is the cerebrum the largest in volume, it is even more enhanced in terms of surface area, some more space because of these grooves and fissures make the cerebral cortex um, a, lot, a lot larger, have a lot more there. Um, the other part of the cerebrum is embedded a little bit deeper is going to be the basal nuclei, also called the basal ganglia. Usually nuclei in the brain are what we call collections of cell bodies. This is one that you will hear called the basal ganglia, referring to a collection of cell bodies. Usually ganglia refers to the um, groups of cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system. So you're welcome to use basal nuclei instead. Um, okay, so the cerebrum is going to be involved in a lot of higher order processing, um, complex thinking. Second, we have the cerebellum. Cerebellum is the little brain. It's involved in motor control and balance. Uh, we'll talk more about it later. The last two regions are everything in between the spinal cord, which is not part of the brain. We'll talk about it later. It's part of the central nervous system. Everything between that and not the cerebellum and not the cerebrum. So if we zoom into that little chunk right there, um, it's two main regions that make that up. This top one here is not labeled. This is gonna be our part number three is the diencephalon. So that is deep to that cerebrum. You can see it in here. And the last part is the brainstem. So that's what's green, blue, and purple here. Um, diencephalon is linking the cerebrum to the rest of the central nervous system. We'll talk about the thalamus and hypothalamus primarily when we get to this region. This is also the pituitary gland right here. Um, and lastly, the brainstem. So the brainstem is made up of the midbrain, pons, and medulla. Um, we'll talk about this with autonomic nervous system in addition to the overview this week um, and pathways that regulate all kinds of basic processes, including altering motor control, but also heart rate, breathing, all kinds of basic functions. Okay, and we will um, start with the cerebrum in the first video.